So I went ahead and kept erasing, believe it or not, and I wrinkled my paper. Sorry about that. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and outline an ink, and I'm going to use a uh, kind of a, a more brown red ink. Uh, maybe you can see it better. I don't know. Um, anyway. You can do, of course, a very detailed drawing in pencil to get yourself started here, but uh, I thought to, uh, for brevity's sake, that we'd just go ahead and um, add a little detail with the uh, with the ink pen, just to kind of show you where where things could go. In pencil or ink, it doesn't really matter. But now that we have all of our basics down, we can begin to put in all that uh, lovely detail that everybody covets when they're when they're drawing. They like that. They like that detail. So starting out with the box in perspective, thinking about vanishing points, thinking about eye lines, thinking about how things work in perspective, I think is a kind of paramount to um, the success of your work, trying to get it to uh, sit on the ground and be believable. Again, we got our knight here. And this is probably one of the reasons why you'd like, you might want to uh, go to pencil and really detail out a really specific bunch of penciling just to get it just perfect. But we're going to go ahead and jump straight into ink and kind of expedite things a bit more. Get kind of moving on this a little bit. So I'm just. Uh, getting the outline and as I'm outlining I'm trying to think about the uh, the details of things um, how I want the scales and the design of his hood and face and so on and so forth and how I want my night to look like I said he's just barely holding his shield it's on the ground there give him a, give him some old school chain mail later how long his claws are going to be that type of thing and again this can all be done in, in, in pencil first, uh, especially if you really, 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 really want to design and detail out your your dragon to before you start the ink. But I think for general purposes here, we're, we're getting the idea. Uh, hopefully that starts to uh, gel a little bit. Um, again, we have our horizon line back here. That's the edge of Earth at the horizon. Thinking about how it's receding into space. These muscles are overlapping what's behind. There's that constant overlap all the way to the back. All right, again, we have feet, claws, everything is going to that left vanishing point as well as to the right. Speaking of which, I think I'll, I'll think about that right vanishing point a little bit and put his back foot up a little bit further. Remember, he's not, he might not be standing in the exact box because he's a 
alive, and uh, you might not be standing in that strict of a box shape. Again, we're back to our basics, right? Some basic triangles. Once you're done with your inking, you can then erase all your pencil. And then you can get on to texturing and coloring and so on and so forth. I'll go ahead and finish off that tail. As those back fins go back, then they change direction right about there. There we go. Something like that anyway. All right. Enjoy.